So, wanna look at some assholes? Not like that. I mean people being assholes, all right? I'm on Am I the Asshole today, checking it out, seeing what's going on, judging people. You know, I love judging. Anyway, enough foreplay, let's judge some assholes. Not like that! Am I the asshole? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I haven't read it yet. <laughs> we have fun. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter that life isn't high school and if it was, she would be the loser now? My daughter is 24, Kelly, and my younger daughter is 23. Wow, well, you really just, you got to it. You really got to it. You just bang, bang. Done. Done and dusted. Pop them out. Plug it up. Ugh. I hate myself. They both had very different high school experiences. Kelly was very social in, in different sports. Sarah was very academic and had a small group of friends. Kelly got a sports scholarship for college but soon dropped out of college after she failed multiple classes. Sarah went on to finish her degree and is doing well in life. Kelly has a jealousy issue and I've talked with her before about it. She's never happy when Sarah has an accomplishment. Today Sarah told us that she's going on a cruise for her vacation this year. She always wanted to go on a cruise and couldn't afford it with her waiter job. In the car she blew up saying that Sarah was a loser in high school so it isn't fair that she has all of this now. She went on for a bit when I had enough. The thing about the blow up is why did she blow up at the point of when she said, oh I'm going on a cruise. Really? The cruise is what set you off? You, you're like, hey, I wanted the cruise. That's my life's dream. I wanted to be on a cruise. I mean cruises are fine, but a cruise? That's what set you, really? Not the degree, not the, you know, good life. Stable job, the cruise. I told her that life isn't like high school, and if it was, she was the loser now. This started an argument, and she called me a bitch. You're not right, I kinda like the way you handled that actually. That's kinda that's kinda sick. Could there have been a more delicate way to say it? Probably, but would I have said it more delicately? No, absolutely not. That's a fantastic way to say it. Life isn't high school. You'd be a loser now if it was. You'd be screwed. No, I think you're not the arsehole. I think that's the perfect way to, you know, get into a head. You know, mind games, because that's what it's about, really, when you're a parent, is mind games and, you know, all those sort of things. Mind games, winning arguments. Isn't that what being a parent's all about? I mean, I'm, I'm not one, so I'm not sure, but when I am, you better know. I'll be gaslighting, I'll be saying, you're a loser, stuff like that, just to get in their heads, you know. I still can't believe she blew up at the fact that she's going on a holiday on a cruise. A cruise? She's going on what, carnival probably? For a week to Fiji or something? I don't know, like, could, fun, yeah, okay. Do you, have you seen the people that go on cruises? I've been on cruises before, I know what it's like. You, have you seen those people? The lowest of the low. It's not really a luxury resort, you know, it's not a luxury holiday, but, you know, maybe you just love cruises, I don't know. Am I the asshole for dismissing my sister saying I need to rename my son because it's on her baby list and telling my parents she better buy the rights for the name if she wants to stop people using them? What in the fuck kind of insane sentence did I just read? She wants you, the person who already has, who is with child, who has had child, to rename your child so she can name her child that isn't born yet the name that you have. This is so petty, but maybe I went too far. I can assure you, you probably didn't. Someone who's petty themselves? I'm gonna judge that, alright? I'll tell you if you've been too petty. I, 26 female, have an older sister, Jade, 28 female, who is not in a relationship, is not pregnant, and is not planning to have kids anytime soon. <laughs> hold the fucking, hold the phone, hold the fort, alright? Uh, hold back, chill, relax, can we take a second? She's telling you to get rid of the name for the child, so if she does have a child, could be soon, could be in 10 years time, that name is reserved. Is she fucking mental? What is- what? Well, I had my son a few days ago. I'm not close to my family. There's a very big golden child thing with Jade. Of course there is. There always is. Ugh, I can pick her right now. Right in front of me. Jade, you idiot. Held back. I'm a good guy. My parents really should have stopped at their one perfect darling kid. What they call her. Ugh. These- ugh. I hate everyone in this story. Except for you, person who I don't know's name. But the rest of them- Hate him. So when they found out my son's name is Finnick, Jade came and told me I could not call him Finnick and needed to rename my son because Finnick is on her baby boy name list, so she's going to use it one day and not me. My question is, she's got a list. Is it on top of the list? Is Finnick... Is it on top of the fucking list? Or is it like down in the middle? And she and she's like, oh, that was on my list and I probably wasn't going to pick it because you picked it. Now I want to pick it. Spoiled brat. You're 28. Grow up, Jade. I laughed in her face and told her to leave and dismissed her request by saying she had no authority in this. 
My parents decided to jump in the next day. Of course they did. Fucking shit. Ugh. I hate parents who coddle their children. Ugh. God, fucking hell. They're not perfect. They're brats. You can think they're perfect, but don't treat them like they're perfect. My god. They told me I should listen to my sister and choose another name to be a good sister to Jade. How about Jade be a good sister to you? Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? If she was like, you know what, this was on my list, but I have a list. I have a list of names, so I'll let this one slide because I have a list of names. And Finnick wasn't the only name on there, so I'll let it I'll let you have the name. You had the baby first. You know what? If Jade wanted to have the name of the baby, why didn't she have a baby first? Hmm? My case is closed. The case is closed. I just close close the case. My the defense rests. Whatever. They said to think about how Jade would feel, and she prides herself on that list. Oh god, get a fucking life then. I don't know what to tell you. I decided to bring some snark into this. That's that's it. That's it. That's the way to do it. My response was simply that if Jade wants to own the rights to the name, then she better get rich fast and buy those names because otherwise she cannot stop people from using the ones on her list. For the record, I know it doesn't work like that. My parents started to freak out over this and basically told me I was being a bully. <laughs> They're 26 and 28, mum and dad. Fucking just... You can't be bullied when you're 28. That's just... That's impossible. They told me I was being a bully and saying things like, how dare I dismiss Jade? I threw them out too. And what followed was texts from Jade and my parents saying I had no reason to treat them so rudely. I blocked them. I might be done. But did I go too far? Am I the asshole? No. I love it. This was fantastic. Jade, get your fucking shit in a pile. You got a list. You have a whole list, alright? Pick, pick something else off the list. You don't even have a baby yet. You're not even thinking about it. Dah! Enter the parents. Are you really going to continue to infantilize this Jade woman that is your daughter? Like... When's she gonna grow up? When are you guys gonna grow up? How about you go become grey nomads? Go away for a while, alright? Stop meddling in people's lives. But no, not the arsehole. Uh, congrats to you. You got my seal of approval. Would I be the arsehole if I, 15 female, went on a vacation with my boyfriend while my mum is due for having her 10th child? 10? You know what, I don't even have to read this thing. You've seen one birth, you've seen them all. Go on the holiday, I don't care. Am I the arsehole for changing my grown son's room into a room for my granddaughter? Going off that, um, no, because it's your house. I mean, when I move out of here, you can turn the room into whatever you want. Steam room, smoke room, pool table room. It's not big enough, you'd be hitting the wall all the time, but you can do it if you want. It's your room, your house, I don't care. I have two kids, Kathy, 29 female, and Michael, 25 male. Kathy lives with me, pays a portion of the bills, and has no plans on moving out anytime soon. We have our own business that we operate out of our home. It's easier for her to live here, and it's great because I have help with the bills. Whereas Michael lives about an hour away for work and has his own apartment. For a while I kept Michael's room as is. He shared several times he has no plans of moving back home as his job is in the city. Kathy has a very close friend who has a two year old daughter Zoe. A friend named Kathy her daughter's godmother as well as guardian should she pass. Unfortunately that happened six months ago. Kathy's friend was a single mum so Kathy was granted custody. This is off topic but I've said Kathy so many times it's starting to become not a word. At first Zoe was sharing a room with Kathy as she had extreme separation anxiety. However, she's ready now for her own room. As our room is a three bedroom, we don't have anywhere else to put her. When I told Michael what we were doing, I said I'd get a pull out for the living room or I could get a day bed for my room when he visits overnight for holidays. I know rooming with your mum isn't fun, but I want to give him options. He's mad that I gave the room to Zoe. He says that was his room. You don't live there anymore. You said you weren't going to move back home anytime soon. I said I understand but he doesn't live with me. Kathy does and pays the bills. She's even paying more now because she feels she's using more resources with Zoe living with us. I'd feel differently if Kathy and Zoe were moving out soon but they're not. At this point Kathy plans to adopt Zoe. My mum helped me raise my kids, her mum helped her, it's in our culture to have multi-generational houses. Moving isn't an option, I can make the space more private for Michael when he spends the night, a divider in the living room. But as he usually only sleeps here two or three times a year, it just doesn't feel practical. I said if Michael ever needed to move home permanently, we'd make something work. And I'd also help him with his child if this was his situation. He says he doesn't want kids. I said that's fine, but this is the situation at the moment. He feels that Kathy should move out. I said I'm not kicking her out just so he can have a room the few times he spends the night. Am I the asshole? Uh, no. Mother of Catherine and... The other guy, whatever he's... Name what? Mad My Michael. Didn't even have to look at the screen. How good's that? <laughs> Memory like a briefcase. Lockbox. Safe. Like a safe. Bank vault. That's the one. See. 
fine. It's fine. There's no underlying issues there. No, obviously not. That's... No. Michael's being a little bitch. That's what I'm saying. You got your own apartment an hour away. Why do you need your own room when you get to the house? You're a guest in that house now. Yes, you live there, but now you're a guest. Understand? So guess what? You're on the couch. The lounge. Yeah, I just said couch. What am I, American? Lounge. You're on the lounge. You're sleeping on the lounge. Or you can sleep with your mum. Don't take that out of context. You know what I mean? No, absolutely not. There's the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And the needs of the few are Michael's. And Michael's a dick, so fuck him. Before I finish up, I'm just going to, you know, look at a couple of headings and just say what I think. Not going to read any context, because context? Who needs it, I say. Am I the asshole for telling my brother's fiance that my only obligation towards her is to treat her with respect? No. Am I the asshole because I was trying to be polite in my text message to a cleaning lady who didn't show up on time? Are you an asshole for being polite in a message? No, I don't think that's, no. That doesn't sound like asshole behavior, so no. Although the trying could mean you weren't, but I don't know, because I've got no context, and I'm not gonna read any further, so no. Am I the asshole for declining a stranger to sit at my table in a restaurant? Um, no, you have the right to decline, if that's the case, so no. Am I the asshole for refusing to watch my cousin's kids anymore after she let me live with her rent free? Are you refusing because you're busy? Rent free at someone else's house? That's like, I imagine that is favor, favor worthy, right? So yes, unless you're like busy and can't and you are somewhere, you know, somewhere else. But if you're just going, no, I don't feel like it then, yeah, you are, dickhead. All right, that's enough from me. Um, I think I judged these people impeccably today. I think I was on point. I think I was sharp as a thing that's sharp. I'm gonna, Pat myself on the back. I did well. I did well. Well, I need to work on my shoulders more. Anyway, that's enough from me. Like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Maybe. If not, then... Good riddance. Or, no, not... Sorry. Uh, bye. Uh. I love